great morning. Today is Friday the 15th. <laughs> so this morning, I'm going to pull from the Wisdom Oracle, the Messenger Oracle, and one from the Muse to Row. So let's see what we have going today. So yesterday we did a live stream. Um, I'm in the midst of getting that put up again. Um, and I started out doing a little music. Although I'm not really thrilled with the quality that came forward in the music. I'm going to try to figure out a way that I can do it where I can... Um, uh, where I can get some of the... Uh, <clears throat> background music to come through better. Anyway, the first card out, we have Muse of the Emotions. Muse of the Emotions. Never-ending story. Okay, so again, this is a pretty straightforward again. The Muse of Emotions, Time to Reflect, and the Never Ending Story. So again, this is talking about, you know, you really have to investigate what's there. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have the never-ending story of the saga as the stomach turns with your own soap opera going. That's going to continue to be a never-ending saga unless you get a handle on things. And the only way to get a handle on things is by reflecting, not projecting, reflecting <clears throat> to look and see what's there. Okay, so the muse of the emotions is like the king of the emotions. Okay, you've, you're going to be um, evaluating <clears throat> everything that's there and how it's driving you in your life. You can't change something unless you can see it. So in order to see it, you have to take some time out and reflect and see what's there, what's coming up, how it's coming up, the knee-jerk reactions that we have in life. <clears throat> and again, look at the seed state. When did it start? Okay. Uh, you may have a, a knee-jerk reaction to something. It has nothing to do with that actual thing. It has something to do with your past, that it reminds you of something or whatever, and you have a knee-jerk reaction. If you're saying it's always like this, then, then again, it's something that needs to be looked at. Okay. 
So this is a very straightforward short one this morning um, because if you don't get a handle on the emotional baggage that one is carrying and that weight can be very difficult to carry, um, it will be the never-ending story. Like I like to call it the soap opera of the life. You know, I always call it as the stomach turns. I mean, it's like <laughs> the drama that one carries. And usually one has these dramas from way back childhood stuff, or it could even be past life stuff that you still haven't gotten a handle on and you're still having a knee-jerk reaction with things that come up. Oh, my voice is gravelly this morning. All due to thank you to Gabapentine. Yes, <laughs> you too could have a gravelly voice. Swollen feet and ankles have cankles at the moment. <laughs> and gain weight all due to Gabapentine. <laughs> Get it at your RX now. <laughs> all those commercials where they say, you talk to your doctor, and it can have all these side effects, and they're reading it as quickly as it can, and it's got a list like this. Well, that's what Gabapentine's got, a list of side effects that's like this long. Okay. You know, sometimes you take the med <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes you take the medications, the side effects are worse than the thing you're taking it for. Not in this case, okay. <laughs> I'll take the cankles, I'll take the voice, I'll take the weight gain for a time um, to get rid of that searing lava going through your body. Um, so, yeah, no, I'll deal with this. <laughs> but, but, yeah, no, I want to get off of it as soon as I can because it does have a ton of side effects. And the worst one for me is anemia because I'm already anemic going in. So it just makes it worse. Um, I tell you, bodies are overrated. Okay. <laughs> They're really overrated. People get so hung up on bodies. They're chasing sex. They're chasing this and that, you know, and then you know, if you really meditated and stuff, bodies are not all that exciting, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, I prefer to see people wearing clothes, okay? I would never do at a nudist colony. I would just be doubly turned off you know it's like oh no i don't want to see that <laughs> oh put the berries and twigs away please <laughs> i don't want to see your fruit salad whatever you've got going on over there <laughs> okay <laughs> no like i said i've been a celibate for quite a few years um by choice. <laughs> Some people are celibate, not by choice. But <laughs> oh my God. Um, yeah. No, I, I, I'm not interested in chasing those things. Um, but anyway, oh, I know what I was going to say the other day. I've got tea coming. Now I watched this video since this one is so short this morning, I watched this video um, about this guy that goes to China to pick out the teas. I mean, he's really crazy into teas. And it's got the video of him going to China and to all these places and the difficulty he had in buying tea. Because in China, usually, you buy tea from these houses and they, you know, send you whatever. Well, he went there and he went to each individual. He wanted to buy it from the farms directly. Um, go to the farms where the tea is being grown. Now, when I lived in India, uh, going, if you take the blue train, little blue train from Siliguri, you go up to um, uh, Darjeeling. 
and you pass the tea farms up there. Now, Darjeeling, the tea there is very strong. It's very strong. It gets, for me, it gets bitter, gets too bitter. Um, although my, my taste things have changed since I've been on the gabapentin. <laughs> the tea is not so strong for me anymore, so that has changed. Um, at first, I was kind of worried, oh my God, do I have COVID? No, but no, it's d due to the, the medication I'm taking. I used to be only able to dip the tea bag in and out like that, and that was it, <laughs> or else it would be too strong. Now I leave the tea bag sitting there overnight, whatever. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so that's changed um, with the medication, what to do. But uh, anyway, Silk Road, Silk Road teas um, are the ones this guy brings back. And his teas, they're expensive, okay? I ordered tea yesterday. It was $80, <laughs> okay, <laughs> for tea. Now, I did get a few. I got a, a few you know, trial packs of, um, and, and they've, got, they've got so many teas on this thing. And he gets a breakdown of every tea. Um, I th it's Silk Road Teas are what they're called. You can look them up, and they're in um, in California. Was it Laguna? Something like Laguna. But they're in California. But every year, this guy goes to individual farms and picks out the best of the best teas and brings them back. And he's got some teas which are outrageously expensive. I mean you know, like a hundred dollars for a quarter pound of, of tea, of a small thing of tea. Anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> I haven't gone that far. Okay. So anyway, I'll let you know how these are. And they, he, he is such a aficionado on it, it that teas, you have to do it at a certain temperature and each different tea has a different soaking time. And then you have to, you know, warm up the tea. When you do these, you um, you you just put them in the bottom of the teacup, and you're supposed to do the boiling water over it, and then you you know dump it out the first one, and then you do them, and they're good for a number of infusions. <laughs> it tells you how many cups of tea you can get out of this one. Okay, so um, yeah, but it was really interesting. Um, to look at him going over to China and just the red tape he had with trying to get them to work with him, saying, no, I want to pick out this specific tea I would want and take it and I'll pay the, the, you know, the duties, whatever it is on it, but I want to pick the specific tea. I don't want something sort of like that tea. I want that specific tea. <laughs> So anyway, he did find a way to work with the uh, the Chinese government there um, in bringing back teas. So anyway, I'll let you know how they are when I get them. I guess you have to really develop a palate for teas. I've never been a real big tea drinker. I'm a coffee person, okay? <laughs> but I'm going to try to do this um, <clears throat> with these teas. Like I said, they are not cheap by any means. Uh, but it was very interesting watching the movie of him going there and and picking these teas. And he'd get so excited when he'd find a nice tea. He's just like, oh, this is like, you know. But it was a fun movie to watch. Um, and I do have tea coming. $80 worth of tea. I can't believe it's so it best be some really good tea for that price. <laughs> Let's face it, it's not what you get. It's not what I've got up here, these little tea things, you know, the set that I got. Um, and they're okay, you know. But uh, these are, you know, the best, the 
big tea leaves that you put in the bottom of the cup and, and they expand and open and um, yeah. There are a few teas I would like to try, but they are so expensive. I used to go to one tea thing, and they had one tea that for a little tin of it was over $100. Crazy, crazy stuff. Hi, Mr. Max. Did you wake up? Huh? Did you wake up, Mr. Max? You and your furry face. You want to come over? Come on. Come on. Over here. Mr. Max. Mr. Max, you can't walk across the table. He said I could. If you'd move some stuff, I could. Come on. Come here, Mr. Max. No, oh, let me get him. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> hey, Wild and Wooly. Hey, Wild and Wooly. <laughs> Do I get a kiss this morning? A little kiss, yeah, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Oh, did that hurt? I got a soft, tender spot. I'm sorry. Look how woolly he is. Because he's half poodle, he's Yorkie and poodle. The poodle's got a little bit of that curl, so when his hair gets really long, it just like looks like I can comb it, and it'll still look like this when I'm done um, because of the poodle. He said, that it. I half poodle. Yeah, so when his hair gets long, you know, Yorkie gets this nice, long, straight hair. No, the poodle makes it kind of curl, <laughs> and it just looks, looks god-awful. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, I'm so waiting for June to come so I can get him into a groomer. <sighs> anyway, um, I hope people enjoyed the... Uh, you know, the live stream <clears throat> last night, again, let me know what you want to see on the live stream. If you want to just have a discussion evening of spiritual things, if you want to have a uh, music, just an evening of music, or if you want to have the tarot. The more that you let me know what you want, the more I can accommodate and put that into effect. Okay, so anyway, thank you everyone for tuning in uh, last night. Um, I did really enjoy, you know, uh, having the talk. I'd like to have one night's just talk, you know, just shooting the breeze, you know, <laughs> with my <clears throat> people online. So anyway, again, let me know what you want. Have a great day. And I'm sorry I got your soft spot. Every once in a while you you pick him up and he, he has a little yelp. Like I said before, he's got yeah, right there. This side is, what is wrong, honey? This side of his body, if you touch it, I mean, you just touch it. You don't have to do anything. Barely touch it. You can see, look at that. He's, he's sensitive there. He's sensitive right there. Um, like I said, I think he may have had a broken bone or something before, and um, he's so sensitive there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Max. Can I have a kiss anyway? He says, no, I'm not too happy. He said, no, he won't give me a kiss. Not we can I have a kiss? He said, no, you got my sensitive spot. <laughs> I get no kiss. He's very fussy with who he gives kisses to. You know, some people, he just won't kiss at all. He just goes, no, no, I'm not going to get, no, you're not going to get a kiss from me. <laughs> He's bad. He's bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to have to ask the vet one of these times when it's back open again, if they know why, why he's got that one area of his body, if you touch it at all. I mean, it doesn't have to be like, you know, grabbing things. Just barely touch. He squeals. He, he yelps. So I have to find out what's going on. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. And I will see you online. 
We get a nice day today. It's getting up to 72, so it's going to be perfect weather out there today. Not too hot. Um, and I'm going to get this stuff done so that I can go mail those CDs out, those people, people that ordered CDs last evening. I will get those out to you today, hopefully this morning. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. See you online. Don't forget to put your uh, readings you'd be interested in in the comments section. I did go through a bunch of them last night online. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. See you online. Namaste. Aho. Love and light to everyone. And thank you to the new subscribers.